So let's talk about authentication, how to sign a user up and so on. Now in the, um, in the documentation for Laravel, if we go to authentication here, basics and where is this authentication? Yeah, so when you get to the authentication section here, it explains that you can install a kit in order to get started real quick here. So there's a quick start guide here, installing a starter kit and so on. But um, I, don't want to, I don't want us to use this route. I want us to create everything from scratch. That way you kind of understand a bit more what's going on. So what I will do here now, I've installed a fresh copy of uh, Laravel here, but what I've just done is made a new I've replaced the folder uh, because I had kept a copy of the original Laravel, like I had mentioned in the beginning. So this is a clean copy. We start from scratch. The routes are empty, but if you don't want to install uh, to put a clean copy, you can just uh, continue with the one we've been using. I've just put a clean copy so that you don't get confused with all the code that we had previously. So to start with, let's create a page where only uh, a user, a logged in person should be, uh, should have access. So here I'm going to start by creating a route to that same page that we are going to create. So I'll say route here. I'll use the get variable and then I'll give it a name. And this is the, uh, I don't know, maybe dashboard or user area, maybe. So I'll just say user area something like this you can call the page anything you want and we want to give it a controller and the controller name is going to be user or maybe to be more specific let's just say dashboard maybe that will be easier to deal with dashboard and then here we're going to put a dashboard controller this is the problem with dashboard uh, difficult to spell so dashboard controller class like this and then we'll put a comma and then I will put the index as the one that we are going to be accessing here like so all right so now let's create the view for this dashboard so a view is going to be very simple I'll go to resources and views and in here I'll create a new file and the view here will just be a simple HTML page. Let me save this. This one will be dashboard.blade.php. Save that. So I want to add HTML here, like so, and then give it a title of dashboard. Okay, so great. Now all I'm, I'm going to do is just put an h1 tag here that says this is the dashboard this is the dashboard so that we know that we are able to access here users only something like this so oh, logged in users only so i'll change that to an h3 okay Good. Now, if we try to load this, we're going to get an error because we're trying to, uh, to give it to access a controller that doesn't exist. So let's create that controller. So we're going to right click on Artisan, open containing folder, and in here I'll type CMD like so, and then I'll type PHP Artisan make controller. Don't forget the full column. And then the controller name will be dashboard dashboard controller you can give it any name that you want and let's press enter okay so what did i do here that is wrong syntax error unexpected uh, if we look at this is going to my blog which is our folder routes web.php on line 20. so let's go back to the web.php on line 20 so it's saying there's a syntax error here and that's because i didn't put a comma there 
So I will save that and come back. Let me run this again. I'll press F1 to repeat this. Enter. Let's see if it works this time. Okay, create uh, controller created successfully. I'll type exit to move out of here. And now if I go to my app, HTTP controllers, I have a dashboard controller here. So in here, I just want to show my view. So I'm just going to say return view and the view is called dashboard like so. Okay, so let's come back here to our page and let's type slash dashboard here at the end. Dashboard like that. Okay, so we have a problem now. It says target class dashboard controller does not exist. Okay, so let's go back to let's go back to web.php because we are trying to use this controller here and we haven't actually added it here. So let's add it here and let's say use. Let's go with app and from app we are going to http slash controllers and then slash the controller name save that let's see if the complaint will go away syntax error unexpected return or const where is that here on dashboard so it's telling me that uh, it's expecting a function. So this is my bad. If you go back to the controller, I forgot that I have to actually add a function. So the index function will add because this is what we are directing it to here. So go back here and add the index function. No problem, easy peasy. Let's go back here and put that there. Okay, good. So as you can see, these are possible errors you can get and this is how you can go about fixing them. Just read the error and see what it's telling you and you can fix it. Okay, so finally we are here. It says this is the dashboard logged in users only here. So let's add a little um, down here. Let's add a little uh, a link to the homepage like that. So I'm just going to say home, but I will use blade here. I'll say URL so that it adds the required uh, content there at the beginning. And let me put this in quotes like that. Okay, so URL, this is for the home page. And let me add a second one. I'll just put a dot here to separate the two. And this other one is dashboard. So I'll say dashboard like that. And I will put that text in here, dashboard. Okay, great. So let's see that in action, refresh. And this is the home page. So if I click on home, it takes me to home. Actually, it's not even home, it's just a slash here. So let me just put that slash over there. That's the home page actually and click home, we are back to our home. In dashboard, we have to type. The problem is I, I don't want to mess with this. So I'll leave it be. Okay, so now we want to make sure that only authenticated users can access that page uh, dashboard, this dashboard here. So what we do is we add middleware here, like we have learned already. So let's add middleware. And there's already a middleware created by Laravel called Oath. So once we do that, that's it. It's going to redirect us to the login page, but we don't have the login page, but let's try it anyway. So I'm going to go to dashboard again, enter. Okay, so now it's telling me that the route login is not defined. Okay, good. So it's looking for a route to redirect me. So which means this actually worked. It means it's now redirecting me it's trying to redirect me to the login page. Now, where is it getting this information? If you see here, it says route login not defined. So if we come back to, um, where is this? Oath, where is the config? 
So if we go to the config folder and type get into uh, so I'm actually looking for middleware here. So middleware, yeah, there we go. So if we click on authenticate here, you see that it says return route login here. So this is the page it's looking for. So if I put two over there and refresh this, you see that it's asking me route login two not defined. So this is what determines the name of your route uh, that will be used for login. But not a big deal there. What we want to do is go to um, web where we create these routes and add that route. So I'm going to add the route called login like this. And there's no authentication that is required on this page because it's a login page. And we're just going to go to index, that's okay, in the get here. And we will need two of these because to login, we're going to need um, to authenticate a user, authenti authenticate like that, authenticate. Th this is just me writing uh, this function. You can put any function name here, it doesn't matter. So we can just say login if you want. That's uh, entirely up to you. So this will be the post version now, which will go to a different function than the other one. All right, so let's see if it will Stop complaining. Oh, okay. So it's still saying route login not defined, even though we have defined the routes here, both for get and post. And that's because I don't know for some reason you have to add uh, an arrow here and give it a name, define the name as login. So we're going to define it right there. So you can define either of these two. It doesn't matter. One of them is more than enough. So if I refresh now, then uh, it will take me to the login page. Now the thing is it's showing me this, um, it's showing me that because I am going to the dashboard controller index. So I should change the, in the controller as well for the login page. So let me remove dashboard and just say login controller like that but we don't have that login controller right now. So we're going to have a problem unless we create it. So let me go to uh, Artisan and open containing folder as usual, and then open the command prompt and I'll say PHP uh, Artisan make full colon controller. Now this one is the login controller. So these names are arbitrary, you can put any names there, it doesn't really matter. So controller was created successfully, I'll type F1 again up to the controller name and then make one for the logout controller because we will need to log out eventually, right? But before we even, um, Yeah, I think it's okay. We can forget about that. Let's just create the logout controller. Enter. Okay, that's enough. Let me exit here and close that. Good. So now we have two new controllers here. That's the login and the logout controller. Very nice. So now on the login controller, let's create a function. So we'll go function index like so. All right, and then in here, we want to display the login page. So I'm just going to say return a view of the login page. So say login like so, that should be enough. But we don't have a login view, so we'll get an error if we try to refresh the page like so. Okay, login controller does not exist. Okay, so why it's telling me login controller doesn't exist is because again, in the web, for me to use the controller, I have to add it there. So back here, login like that and save. And then let's go back and refresh. Now we to complain about the view. View login not found. Okay, no problem. Let's go to our views, which is inside resources. Views, right click, new. Save this one as login.blade because of course we want to use blade.php. And then here I'll create an HTML like so and call this one login like that. And then come down here 
I will create a form like so. For now, uh, I just want to see the title. So I'll say H1 login. That should be enough. Okay, so let's come back here and let's refresh the page. So there we go, we have a login page, but of course I want to be able to navigate to other places as well. So I will copy this kind of header and put it in the login page, excuse me. There we go, something like so, back here. Okay, so if I click on dashboard, I'm redirected back to the login. Regardless, see, back to the login. And that is because in the web, I have told it that this person needs to be authenticated in order to go to the dashboard. So every page that you want authentication there, just put that middleware there on the authentication. Or you can put this inside a group like we had discussed and the whole group can have a single middleware like that. Okay, so, so far so good. Uh, in the next video, let's create a proper login uh, page. But we can't log in somebody before we sign them up. So in the next video, we'll create a sign up before we can log in.